In last week's episode, we talked about how to end poverty. The main ideas were that you needed to be successful to become a mentor and to show your employees or mentees that they can be successful. Many people do not have the belief that they can be successful. You have to show them that they can. You can do this through charitable contributions and being a mentor. In this week's episode, we are going to talk about visualizing your success. You have to visualize things you want. If you believe you can have something, you can have it. To do this, you have to understand that thoughts become things. Let your business mirror your own thinking. The law of attraction says that what a person thinks, it will become. Your thoughts will attract the things you want. Ask yourself, what is your attention focused on now? It should be on your business and how it can be improved. Always. First, you must have a vision of wealth. You cannot be wealthy if you constantly remind yourself of past troubles. Put your past behind you and move forward. If you are afraid of succeeding because of a past event, you will fail. Always think positive. Don't waste time thinking of your shortcomings or your weaknesses, and you must not want things without action. You have to act in order for the process to begin. You can never become wealthy or start the creative power by sending out uninformed longings or vague desires. Keep looking forward. Keep a clear mental picture in your mind where you want to go. This is your roadmap. A sailor knows where he is going. He only hoists up the sail and goes there. Like this, you must keep looking forward towards your goal. Put everything into thought. Think about everything you do. How is it going to affect you and your goals? Think about your goals and how are you going to get there. Think about the positives and negatives. Then act upon those based upon your goals. Don't dream or be a dreamer. If you dream without action, you will have little or no power for accomplishment. Behind your vision must be the purpose to realize it and to bring to reality. Most importantly, believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, don't expect anyone else to. You know your strengths and weaknesses and what you are capable of. Use this knowledge to help you succeed. What others may see you as a cat, you should see yourself as a lion. The most important thing you can take from this episode is to act now. If you start now, your dreams will be completed sooner than you thought. If you wait to start, it will be that much longer before you reach your goals and be successful. That will do it for this broadcast. Please come back next week. As always, please like, share, and subscribe.